Hi, it's time for Julie Says So, and this week we have a sequel we've been waiting for for ages. It's Finding Dory, which of course is the follow-up to Finding Nemo, which came out back in 2003. Yeah, quite a while back. But this movie's going to take place only about six months after Marlon went searching for Nemo. This time around, they're going to try to reunite Dory with her family, which should be interesting, giving her short-term memory issues. <gasps> I remembered something! That's not possible, is it? Okay, is it like a picture in your head? And then you think I've seen this before? I just used the word before, which means I I'm remembering something. Writer-director Andrew Stanton, who was on board for the first Finding Nemo, is gonna be back for Finding Dory, as well as Ellen DeGeneres and Albert Brooks, so it looks to be a hit. You can see Finding Dory in theaters on June 17th. Now, if you're looking for a rental, Spotlight is now available on DVD. And no one was very surprised when that one picked up Best Picture at the Oscars this year because it was one of the highest rated films to come out. It tells the story of the Boston Globe team of reporters who uncovered the Catholic Church scandal back in 2002. We understand you've settled several cases against the church. I can't discuss that. There aren't any records of any of these settlements. Nope. Some incredible performances in this one as well from Michael Keaton, Liev Schreiber, and Oscar-nominated Mark Ruffalo. It's pretty much a perfect picture, so pick up Spotlight so you can see what everybody's been raving about. Now, if you're looking for one for the kids, here's a superhero flick that you might have forgotten about. You know, there's been a whole lot of debate about this new Zack Snyder's Batman versus Superman, but there was never any debate about Christopher Reeves' performance as Superman in Superman the Movie back in 1978. He filled his Superman with a sweetness, an innocence, an unshakable sense of justice that you don't always see in superheroes these days. Easy, miss. I've got you. You, you've got me. Who's got you? <laughs> Gene Hackman played Lex Luthor, and he filled that villain with kind of a sense of silliness that you also don't normally see. He was funny too, which makes Superman the movie from 1978 a fun one for the entire family. Prepare yourself though, because the kids are probably going to laugh at some of those dated special effects. Remember, you can find all of my current movie reviews as well as free movie passes on my website. That's at juliesaidso.com. If you haven't checked out Julie's site yet, you really should. You'll find much more than just movie reviews on it, including recipes, podcasts, and of course her rants and raves.